Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial, where I will show you how to run a test in debug mode. In this video, I'll be answering the following two questions. First, what does it mean to run a test in debug mode? And second, how do I do it? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. This moves us to our first topic, which asks the question, what does it mean to run a test in debug mode? By running a test in debug mode, the test will pause after every line of your script until you tell it to continue with the next line. This is different than running in normal mode, for example, where when you're running your test in that mode, the script will continue to move line after line on its own without you having to tell QTP to move down to the next line over and over again. This moves us to the second topic, which asks the question, how do I do it? I'll now flip over to QTP to show you two of the ways that you can do this. The first way I'll show you is by using the menu bar. The second way I'll show you is by using a keyboard shortcut. Now in this example, I will be using a for next loop where I'll be displaying a message box in each one of the loops. For more information on how to use either for loops or message boxes in your scripts, feel free to reference some of my other videos where I go into more information on those. So I'll go ahead now and type out the for loop that we'll be using. And again, as I would mentioned, we'll be making three loops. And in each one of those loops, we'll display a message box that will simply say, hello. Now the first way that we can run a script in debug mode is by using the menu bar. First, locate the Run button on the menu bar, then click that, then click the Step In To button. Once you do that, you'll be presented with a Run window. Once you see that, you can either click the Run button or hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Now, once you see the Run window go away, your script is now in the process of executing. However, since we're running in debug mode, QTP is waiting for us to indicate to it that we want it to go ahead and execute the first line in the script. You can execute the first line in the script and all of the lines in the script in one of two ways. You can either use the menu bar or a keyboard shortcut. To use the menu bar while your script is running, you can again locate the Run button, click that, then locate the Step In To button. Then click that. And as you can see, the script now moved down from line 1 to line 2, which means that it has now executed line 1 of the script. Now, in addition to being able to use the menu bar, you can also use a keyboard shortcut. That keyboard shortcut is done by hitting the F11 key. So I'll go ahead and hit the F11 key now can see that once I've done that, we're now being shown the message box that we had coded on line 2, which is displaying hello. I'll now click through that. Now once I've done that, the script now moves down to line 3. So I again need to tell the script to move past line 3, which will then take us back up to line 1 for another loop through our for loop. Again, as before, you can either use the menu bar or the keyboard shortcut. So for the rest of this iteration, I will continue to use the keyboard shortcut. All right, that was our second message box. Now our third message box. We've now ended this script's run iteration. Now, the other way that you can execute a script in debug mode instead of using the menu bar is simply by hitting the F11 key as the keyboard shortcut. So go ahead and hit that now. As you can see as before, we're presented with a run window. And again, you can either hit the enter key on your keyboard or click the run button. Just like as before, we'll need to continue to step through the script line by line, either by using the menu bar or the keyboard shortcut. So again, as before, I'll continue to use the keyboard shortcut. There's our message box. Hit it again to move from line 3 back up to line 1, which automatically moves us back down to line 2. 
Then hit the F11 key again. Displays our message box, which is the code on line two. I'll then click through that. Hit F11 again to loop through line three. Then again to execute the message box. Click through that. And then one more time, which will then end the script run. This now concludes our video where I've answered the following two questions. First, what does it mean to run a test in debug mode? And second, how do I do it? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.